Yo, what the fuck is up, guys? It's Mr. Simon back here today. We got another Dro video on the Xbox, and holy shit, who is this beaver looking guy in front of us? Why are we in the Jack Light class? Why am I so hyped up for this video? And the reason I'm so hyped up for this video is because finally, as you, if you guys saw my videos the past couple of days, or actually like maybe four days ago, five days ago, I wanted to get the fuck Blackbeard Dragon. There we go. So I wanted to get the Blackbeard Dragon, didn't have the proper materials to get it, so I could only get the Deep Sea Dragon. But I also didn't have 20 scales and then 5 enchanted scales. And enchanted scales go for 10k a piece, and normal scales go for 4,500 to 5,000. So you best believe your boy Cheap Ass Swan is not going to go out and cash out on scales. So what we're going to do is the cheap alternative. Also, the better stats come from Flackbeard. Now, I'm pretty sure um all the Deep Sea Dragon gives you is just straight up health. Maybe a little bit of crit hit, I'm not too sure. But I think this one gives you either physical damage or magic damage, which is going to be fucking lit. Plus, I need a couple more dragons before this new update hits because I really, really want to get all up to date. Now, I can get three dragons in total, but I am still missing all the craftable ones. And I'm also missing a couple ones that you get from random eggs. Now, the chances of me getting all these are very, very slim. But we're going to go through the list right now and see which ones I have. So, uh, right off the bat... Uh, I know I have, uh, maybe I have a neon one, I'm not too sure, oh fuck, I don't know about these ones, but we can go ahead and actually and see these ones, so I have this one, we have this one, That this one was a pain in the asshole to get, oh, we have this one obviously, Emertra, there we go, Panatee, my favorite dragon in the game, Flackbeard, which we can make right now, 25k flux out of my pocket, boy, and then we also have uh, this block dragon, which is like my second dragon, and then we also have this chocolate one, don't have the deep sea one yet and then this one i do not have either this one is one of my favorite ones but i cannot get a jack lantern egg to save my life and nora don't have this one either i have the tysorion though don't have the christmas one i already have Arden keeper of the whatever the fuck it is i forgot how i got this egg huh that's actually curious i don't remember ever actually getting this egg but you know it costs a pretty penny to actually go through and get this fucking thing uh, and then we also got this dragon as well and this one so overall what we are missing is actually going to be the tannin tannin bomber the t christmas fucker and then we also got this one and then this one and this one so we're missing four dragons that are like new i guess and then we're also missing some of the crafted ones as well but i'm not gonna worry about those right now what we're gonna worry about is flackbeard of the relentless now I if you guys can hear the rain outside i'm very sorry it's banging off my ac and it's becoming very fucking loud and annoying but we have 561 giant coins left i'm gonna lose power in just a second so if i do or recordings going to shit and i'm gonna fucking kill myself but we're gonna hop into autism alliance right now check out this dragon check out the stats and see what's popping but i'm so excited i wanted this dragon a couple days ago but i could not find the fucking dragon to save my life dragon chat has been dead so i've just been on my own but it's been good shit Lacey, help me out and get this oh my god there's people in here i don't know why this whole area over here is being filled out with uh with trophies but i guess we're just gonna ignore it i'm not really a big fan of it but oh well and there's even a little world link fucking thing whatever the hell this is nine nine props let me make that up to ten fam didn't even go up all right so what we're going to do now is learn this thing and actually guys i'm gonna start main the dark uh for you guys it's sunday but for me it's saturday so i'm gonna get this guy up to like level 20 maybe 25 today as much as i can and then i'm gonna switch my gems back over from him the drac light back to my gunslinger for tomorrow which is going to be monday hello yes and then uh because I, I like to do shadow towers on my gunslinger because i'm actually a help my gunslinger i'm not sandbagging the team on my fucking whatever the hell it is I'm not sandbagging the team on my shadow hunter so Oh, we're so close to that car bar. Fuck me. I'm not going to open up any of these boxes, but here we go. Still has chunks of cannonball stuck in his beard from the last time someone tried to shoot him down. Fuck yeah, Flackbeard. You sound badass. All right. So now we got an extra 30 power rank, which I should be 19,936 now. 39 now on my Gunslinger. So we're getting up to 20k. Very, very excited, but I'm going to need four dragons in total just to hit that. Fuck. All right. So now we're going to head down to mounts. I already have the E-roll on. I'm not really sure why. But that is our 17th legendary dragon. Wow. That is a lot. That's a lot of dragons. So, Flackbeard. 10 crit damage, which is actually pretty decent in max health. So, that's actually... That 10 crit damage is actually pretty nice. Especially when you get up to like the 1100s, 1200s, 1300s. 10% does help out a lot. So, there we go. Slap this one on. Also, if you guys play Gunslinger or any other class that needs attack speed, highly, highly suggest you pick up one of these golden pinata eggs. They're very cheap in the marketplace. Gotta find out where the fuck the thing is. There we go. Gives you 7 attack speed, which are very nice. And there's also another dragon that gives you attack speed as well. Don't know if I'm going to be able to find it as of right now. This dragon's really good because it gives you crit hit, crit damage, and physical damage, which is actually fucking amazing. Not really sure what other one gives you attack speed, though. Plus 5 attack speed, Fulgurus right there. That's also nice. And then there's one more dragon as well. I'm not sure if it's the pumpkin one or the Christmas one, but I'm pretty sure one or the other actually gives you more attack speed, which is actually very, very good. But now we're going to hop on this mount and see what we got. So, boom. 
Damn, this thing looks fucking cool. Usually I don't like the dragons. It does look like a fledgling kind of because of the tail, how it's all cut off and stuff. They could have done a little bit of a different effect on the tail, but I guess I'll deal with it. Not actually, the, the tail kind of ruins it for me, not going to lie. It's got like a fucking ring around the tail. I don't really know. It just, it just looks like a, a weird ring, you know what I mean? I don't I don't understand this thing. I don't understand. But, looks pretty cool. This will look good on the Pirate Captain, because on the Pirate Captain right now, I'm pretty sure I have that that ugly, ugly centaur, the ghost one. Because I have the ghost pirate uh, skin on it. But, you know. So, I'm going to go around now and show you guys the effects. But, I'm going to have into a U9 portal as of right now. Because, I, uh, you know. Well, actually, we're going to hop into a U7. There we go. So, I don't get shit on. But I, I'm an officer in the area, and I want to bomb the whole land. Usually, I go to Dawn and test out the bombs, but I don't feel like being a dick today. So, we're actually going to go into a U7, show you guys what's popping in the Dracolite, light, and then also show you guys about this dragon. But, I want to know in the comment section, does attack speed affect the Dracolite? light? Now, I could obviously go through and test it, but I don't really... I think it's more of like a Shadowhunter thing, where it's like a non-stop stream. But, as of right now, I have attack speed on, because... Um, all my gear, like my face and my hat, come from my gunslinger, which requires attack speed. So I'm not too sure if I can switch that off or not. We're actually going to go into a different bomb because this one's fucking hideous. So go over, ooh, we'll go over, over to the Cursed Islands one because I actually like that one. But I'm not too sure if attack speed matters. I could obviously check, but it's kind of hard to tell. So let me know in the comment section below if attack speed matters. And obviously like the video as well because that helps people find my video. Hey, 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 clickbait. But we're going to hop over here now. This, so this is uh, you know, a good biome, good lighting, and then boom. So it shoots out like a cannonball kind of deal with a really cool explosion. I like that a lot. And then, you know, it looks like any other dragon flying. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Definitely one of my favorite dragons because of just how badass it looks. Look at that. It only has one eye. Is this the eye patch on the other side? Fucking lit. Oh god, we have been discovered, boys. We have been discovered. But yeah, if you're wondering what my weapon style is, it's just a swordfish. Uh, the aura on it is going to be the mastery aura. You get 290. And then the head aura, you get it from the prism of light. And then, yeah, I don't have a costume, don't have a level 20 costume. Like I said, I just started playing this character today. It was level 50 for the longest time. The longest time. But, my favorite thing about it is... Wow, what the fuck is this dungeon? Alright, I guess we're going up to the top of it. My favorite thing about this... uh, Oh my fucking god, the lag. About the class, is that when you use your ultimate ability, you can go on a mag rider, a mount, or even dance if you want to. Do emotes, but I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. I'm going to get to the top of this dungeon. Now, I'm pretty sure to actually do a dungeon, you have to just bomb in right here. Any dungeon you can do with bombs. Never let anyone tell you different. Any dungeon requires bombs. So there we go. Hop down into here now. Final boss. Here we go. So here we go, baby. Yeah. Fuck up some shit. There we go. 1.8 million damage per per little hit. That's what's up. And now we can hop on the mountain and fly away. Look at this. Tell me this dragon doesn't have its back broken in half right now. We gotta we gotta toss out the FOB because how big I am. Look at this shit, fam. This is gigantic. You can't even see the dragon anymore. I'm my own dragon. I don't even need this thing. Like, like what? Well, let's see if I get off my mount. Can I fly? Oh, rest in peace. All right. Well, those are the wings. These, these ones are cool. These are from the, uh, what is it? Oh, rest in peace. Come on, snowman. You got this. What is it from? Oh, God. It's on tip of my tongue. The essential pack. There we go. An essential pack now is completely useless. No reason to buy it. But back when this game first came out, essential pack was very needed. I was obviously, you know, essential. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. A short little video. Obviously, like I said below, um, make sure you comment and let me know if attack speed does matter because I'll show you that real quick. But as you can see, little numbers pop up, even though I'm hitting 366,000 damage. But I don't know if it matters. I mean, I'm, I might go test it out because I might, you know, this video is going up the next day. So I might go test it out and see. But we'll see in the comment section. Wow. Hello, sir. Let me follow that fucking Ganda. That is a be very beautiful Ganda. Hey, 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 come here. What is your name? Scarth Dark Soul. All right, congrats to you, man. The Ganda looks sexy. Oh, we're on this. We're on this shit, fam. Yeah, head over to that large dungeon. I'm not leeching off you. I'm just trying to ride the wave. Come on, let me ride the wave, fam. And before I go, go guys, I want to thank you all so much for not giving me a lot of hate on yesterday's video. Now, I know it's kind of like a weird topic and like more of like a rant and more of like a shitting on absolute everything in the game kind of aspect. But I'm glad you guys liked it, glad you enjoyed it, and I'm glad they're really good. So thank you so much for that as well. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. It helps me out a lot, way more than you fucking think. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Trove daily content every single day, baby. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video, and stay frosty, everybody.